So we are here at the Moa Arena and we'll be having a backstage tour for the tour the Avatar here at SM Moa Arena and there are other mommy vloggers that's Francis and Codette and yeah, and Zitasha <laughs> Um, I'm the publicist spokesperson for Turok, the first light Turuk. of this show. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Turok. Yeah, that's Turuk no, 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 is actually the right way to say it. How do you say it again? Turuk. Turuk. R. Yeah, an R that's the role. Very Ilocano. <laughs> <Navi. laughs> so, we're about to do a uh, special tour of the Facebook Live. No, it's eh? a video. <laughs> it's a video. Yeah. Um, there's no problem if you want to do Facebook Live. Just let me know so that I can let them know when we go backstage because okay. we're going to see a lot of people. Okay. Um, you can take photos, you can, you can even take photos if you want to. You can take photos, you can take videos if you'd like. Um, yes, we're signing the tour. Hi! Yes, hi. hi. Oh my God, do you remember that one? Do you want to come with us, Sex? And have a seat? So we're seeing the rehearsals and while you see Grey's stage here right now, on the show time, it will all be blue and for us, this, they're using a projector up there that they brought with them. And so there's a marionette and there's the uh, acrobats and they're trying out the mechanical mm. ball. And that's the Toruk. Toruk. You know, remember Dash. the bird in the movie? That's that. Tasha, do you remember that? Hi! Change and run back on stage. So we have lots of headpieces, as you'll see. 
Each mm -hmm. of them is made to, mm -hmm. to their head. Their body oh, scan. Wow. The head and body are scanned wow. by powerful scanners in Montreal. Mm -hmm. And so it fits mm -hmm. their head exactly. And each mm -hmm. clan, if you've seen the movie, there's only one clan in the movie. We have five. Wow. So we created five different tribes. Uh, they all have different hair. As you see, like these are the Takami with the flowers, and they go with the flower costumes. Um, and you see these, the Keikunan, they're feather inspired, very air. They go with the feather mm. costume. So Boom. every tribe was created with uh, earth element, well, earth, I should say Pandora elements. <laughs> yes, Pandora. And uh, what's interesting as well is that everything, as you see, was made to look like it was created by Nami. So flowers, anything that's organic, that was a lot of search. Uh, and research them. So, for example, this is inspired by cabbage leaves. <laughs> like those are things that we found to make to make things interesting. So, not look like they were bought in the store, <laughs> but actually made like and created with this organic tree. So, you can uh, take photos for a few seconds, a few minutes, and then we'll keep going. In the quick change room, and these are the costumes of, of, of the entire cast. So, as you can see, they're so pretty, we can't touch it. Do you want to take a photo with this? Do you want to take a photo with this? Take a photo with this? Wow. Slowly. Wow. Look. Hi. <laughs> there. See, this is one of the, the other tribes. It's a shield, yeah. and this is from the Tiffany clan, and it's fired by an insect, yeah. a carapace. So they're the warriors, and they have a shield to protect themselves. And actually, walk this way. Someone something that looks like this. That's the body suit. So, and you can move this one. All right. It's, um, it's a, I, yeah. a material that was created. It had to be durable very because light. they slide on it. They have to well land on their knees, mm -hmm. flexible because we found the first It's like a swimsuit. And we created a lot of research to do the bioluminescence that you see in the movie as well, so it glows in the dark. Um, now the Navi are ten feet tall in the show in the movie, right? They're like mm -hmm. really tall. So we only have human beings. And uh, <laughs> acrobats are typically not like very tall. They're average size size. So what they actually did was they raised the torso. So the belly button and the nipples are higher on the chest to give an impression of a longer torso. That's one of the ways that we tried to, to make us look like giants. <laughs> exactly. These are all the props that you'll see in the show as well. Um, many of them are put in, put out. It changes. Yeah, it's this way. Yeah. 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 They come in the, in the center. So. Are we all there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah <laughs> so, in yeah. our height, um, as well as giant flowers, I don't know if you've seen the preview, the Caesar, the giant flowers, they're actually this tall. Oh, okay. They're very tall and they're actually. This is called the loop. Yeah. 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 Um, it's an acrobatic uh, <laughs> apparatus where they will go and climb and flip and jump off of it. So it's a, a big weaving representing certain animals and creatures. Oh, oh my gosh! gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh! Kitty! <laughs> a baby Nazi. <laughs> a baby Nazi. <laughs> we have one in the show. There's only one. Does the eyes move? No. And you might miss it, it's at the beginning of the show. Oh. <laughs> this is the head of the pool hand, which is, uh, we call it the bone structure. Mm -hmm. So this is the head, and if you look in the back, you see the skeleton. Mm -hmm. And what happens is during the show, yeah. they will create, they, they attach together, and it creates like a teeter-totter creates like a, a balancing structure and we have five acrobats that flip and do a contortion number on top of it while they're balancing. So 
you see the size of it. This is only the head. <laughs> As you see in the show, you'll see it's very cute. Yeah. Um, of course. You have many. So there are like Oscar. Oh, so we've got three wonderful acrobats that are with us. <laughs> um, River Makings is from South Africa. He's one of our male characters. You saw him during the motorized pole, the one lying on the floor, and uh, <laughs> and trying to escape. Antonia Dolhain is uh, from the United sorry. States. Canada. Canada. I'm so sorry. <laughs> She's from Canada, like me. Um, and she plays one of the female acrobats, uh, not me. That's also on the floor. Was also on the floor? <laughs> <laughs> missed you. I missed you. You were walking back to yeah. <laughs> And Victor Hanyo is uh, also a male uh, Navi acrobat from Hungary. Hungary. Wow. Um, so there are, they've been in the show quite a bit. They also have evolved a lot. They have backgrounds that are different. We have about 10 minutes okay. if you want to ask. Yeah, many other months or I think I was I was I was in the creation, so it's for us it's taking like four months, four and a half months to put together the show. Because we're creating it from the beginning. Because creating from the beginning from scratch to the show. And just to add to that, like discussions with James Cameron and Cirque du Soleil happened like five years before that. So many layers of the creation, and then when the artists arrived, that was about five years. Uh, but they all have many years of training before. Yeah, is that every day training? Or do you get days off? <laughs> yeah, we get uh, six, six days a week. Yeah. Wow. Six days a week? Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> like, one like... of the days we, we travel usually, so we'll have like one or two shows where we travel and then you know, one, one, one and a half days off usually. Because you're like, sleeping for part of one, <laughs> recovering from the travel. <laughs> So what were your backgrounds before doing this? What, what? I come from an artistic gymnastics background. Uh, I came from gymnastics and then I went to the circus. So I was at circus school for five years. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's a circus school. I've been in circus school for nine years. Wow. <laughs> Circus school. <laughs> we don't have that here. <laughs> we don't have a circus school. No, it always sounds like a general show. Sure. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. No, we don't so have it. Has been your dream to run away and become a circus? I wouldn't say it's always been my dream as I grew a lot of performing. It uh, was. I mean, circus is like a big for athletes. So, and it's a short form. So, for me, it was like. It's the next best thing after uh, sport career. Mm. Okay. Uh, I was going to do something academic first. I was going to go into uh, aerospace engineering, <laughs> uh, but I didn't, obviously. Uh, I know I'm here, but I can do it after, or not. I was seven years old when I figured out that I want to be a superstar. You were seven? It's very. Yeah, no. At seven years old, I think I told my teachers that I wanted to be a helicopter. So. Yeah. I we all have our own routines when it comes to how we stay in shape and, and how we eat. You know, some people are more strict than other people. That's a pretty big diet. <laughs> so when you're younger, you get to eat whatever you want, and as you get older, you have to. Uh, <laughs> you have to uh, uh, pay more attention. Uh, so if I speak for myself, I try to be as strict as possible, but we're human. Yeah. <laughs> also live in a bodysuit, so it's yeah. very 
Are you not forgiving to have a buddy no, 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 no. <laughs> Or, like, it depends on how old they are, right? The old ones are quite stretched out. The new ones are full body spanks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 so, I guess you have to choose the new ones. <laughs> 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 That's how you feel. I guess. How many cities have you? Yeah. And do you get to go around? To visit the city? Uh, on our off days, we would do as much uh, sightseeing as we can. We're in a city every week, so um, and, yeah. And I love you. So we we try to do as much as we want, uh, or as as we can. Um, but yeah, I can't see the city. Wow! And it's our Asian premiere. It's yeah. our first time in Asia. Yeah. 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 It depends on the artist, obviously, cool. too. Some people started filming it again. I came a year later, so I've done oh. it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I came like halfway. We can do it. I came here. We have a... And in Manila. <laughs> <laughs> You basically just go to the I don't know, I think it's glorious. We're getting yeah. kind of bored. Am I allowed to say that? I don't know. It's kind of like, uh, <laughs> but it's true that um, no. actually, Cirque du Soleil has come before. Yep, yeah. we came yeah. also here. Yes. So, yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. so one, yeah. one, one yeah. of the tents yeah. at the yeah. top, yeah. but it had been five years. It's been five years since Cirque du Soleil came, so it was, it was really expected and happy to come here like, five we years later. It was time, you know? We and excited. like we were saying, Filipino is really like Avatar, so yeah. it's a great combination, Cirque du Soleil, Avatar. Were you also part of the previous show? Talking about it's a different sort of thing. We also have two Filipino in the camera. Yeah, we had the chance to go.